So that was my second day was close to the boom. Hello friends of the Sheil and Imperato families at Brian and Maggie's wedding. Welcome to Hot Grooms, the show with hot wings and an even hotter groom for my sister Maggie. <laughs> I'm a suitor. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing a little uh, interview show format that you might recognize that we're all uh, excited and anxious for, I think. Terrified. Um, I'm each... in danger. I'm excited. Each of the four of us has come up with a few questions to ask Brian about his upcoming marriage. And, uh... Are you yeah, we're here in Savannah, Georgia, a bachelor party weekend, and I decided that we would torture ourselves with really hot wings. I did not consent to this. <laughs> Strap in, y'all. Let's go. Strap in. Uh... <laughs> Hi there, everyone. My name is Michael Imperato. I am my brother's brother, and I'm also his best man at the wedding. My name's Ryan Scheel. I am Brian's soon-to-be brother-in-law, uh, and I as well will be on Maggie's side of the aisle at the wedding, but I decided I would come crash this little bachelor party. Three. You go ahead. Oh. Man. That one who I am. I'm Tyler. I've known Brian <laughs> since high school. Is that middle school? I mean, no, middle school. school. We got to be yeah. friends in high school. We probably saw each other in passing in like the water cooler in elementary school, but we never yeah. really connected. I don't do water cooler talk. <laughs> so. uh, I'm Mac. I also know Brian. I've known Brian since since high school. Probably about the same time. Like, what, ninth grade? Yeah. LSA? Mm -hmm. Pottery class? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. God, lame. A lot of history in this room. <laughs> All right, what flavor are we starting with? We are starting with barbecue flavor. Uh, nice and easy? Yes, it's very easy. We're wondering if this is even going to be hot at all, but the way this is going to work is that we are each going to eat one of these wings. So we may as well, may as well, may as well load, the, uh, load the tank right now. We're each going to eat one of these wings, and then we're going to start asking some questions. Okay. Let's do it. Shoot. Hmm. Let's mm. Not bad, the mouth sounds are gonna be so bad in this video. Oh, they're gonna be awful, yeah. I can visually see them. <laughs> it's a little bit tangy. On the laptop. Yeah, this is good. Should we shout out the wings place? Yeah, this is from Betty Bombers in uh, Savannah, Georgia. So to start things off, something uh, something nice and standard. Your wedding's coming up. It's July 1st. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling about that right now? I mean, it's good sneaking up on you. You've been planning for... Well, it's not sneaking at all. It's always in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> always looming. Because um, for those who don't know, I, I sort of am. There is a wedding planner that's tied to the venue. Thank you, hmm. venue, for showing this and for helping. But whatever they don't plan, I'm sort of picking up as well. So I'm no, wedding perfect. planning this while also teaching high school. <laughs> so it's, it's been um, ever present in my mind. I've got everything but the cake at this point. I hope you have cake. To not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> We're gonna get cake. We have the spirit. Has that has that been the sort of uh, has that been the sort of like I don't know the air of the air of uh, the air of tension about the wedding since the proposal? This is milk. Or, yes, we're doing we're doing milk. Yeah, and we also have some Pepto Bismol in case things get really hot. <laughs> you know I keep that thing on me. They're going. <laughs> things are going to get hot. That's These... the second bottle. Brian drank the first bottle in one go. He was prepping. <laughs> he drank it in preparation. I've been preparing my whole life. I'm a milk drinker. Uh, how long after the proposal did the uh, did the sort of ever presentness and like the intensity of the planning start setting in, or what was that process look like from um, the beginning? We've kind of known for a while that we wanted to get married. We wanted to wait until after COVID ended. Well after, we were both like fine with the concept of masks, but did not want to remember it ever again. When we look back on our like books and we don't see like all the people wearing masks be like, well, oh, right, the plague. <laughs> um, I thought of that. that so we kind of been planning for a while. And so after the proposal, we knew it had to be at a waterfall. Maggie and I um, had our first date at a waterfall. We had our first vacation to some waterfalls in Chattanooga. And I proposed at Hickory Nut Falls at uh, Chimney Rock State Park. And so I knew like it had to be a waterfall. And so the venues pretty quickly narrow themselves down. They are either at a Baptist college that's private and you have to have a Baptist ceremony, 
or they're several miles into the state park and no one can hike there. <laughs> so Chota Falls was close. It had a place to stay. This was like a perfect venue and a lot of it fell into place from there because it's a package deal here. That's fantastic. It sounds like the stars almost aligned a little bit it in terms of like space and time. Yeah. The first question I have for you, you explained already uh, where you went for your first date with Maggie. Mm-hmm. What would you say your first date was like? Like, how were you feeling? What were there any like? I can tell Maggie was feeling first of all um, <laughs> because we met on OK Cupid, ninety-seven percent mad. <laughs> and was that three percent? Ninety-seven percent. Was that three uh, percent? It was like I don't know. Actually, we I, I tell looking again. It was like inconsequential. We actually answered more questions, and it went up to ninety-eight <laughs> percent. Anyway, um, Maggie lived in Boone at the time. I lived in Asheville, so it's a two-hour drive difference, and. Uh, we were like, we should meet halfway at Catawba Falls, and Maggie texted several friends like, I'm meeting a guy on the internet at a waterfall. This is his face so he can meet justice in case I'm done. Um, that's very smart. But, yeah, that's, that's but she was excited, and I was extremely excited. It was like the like most chill first date. There was no other that sort of like nerves. I would typically get lots of butterflies on first dates because I'm like, uh, you know, what could happen? Um, but it was it was great. We had a great hike, beautiful waterfall, and I think we got Taco Bell on the way back, and then just watched Star Trek. So it was really the ideal day for me, personally. <laughs> that's fantastic. Like, yeah, I'm, that I'm gonna is... marry this woman. That was that's what I knew. Oh, that <laughs> kind of answers my second question. I was going to ask, uh, when was the exact moment that you knew, after spending time with her, that you wanted to marry her? That, that was joking last one. The, the really was, I think, at Chattanooga because we hadn't been dating that long. It was still like three months in, and I was not like, I'm gonna marry this person like in four months. Um, but we went to Chattanooga on our first vacation. Um, she had not gone on vacation with any past relationships. She's like, I don't want to go. And I was like, say no more. And I had it booked the next day. Um, we had a, a little yurt in Chattanooga. Oh, wow. okay. It was really, really cute, romantic. And we got along fine in a very cramped space. I, that was a good, like, tell mm. thing. Like, this is promising. Mm-hmm. Um, but it took about a year for me to decide, like, I do want to pop the question. Mm-hmm. But I kind of knew from, like, that vacation is like, I think this would be just fine. Like, where there's in cruise control, we'll be very happy. Right. You, you got the vibe and you just started You just wanted out. to take It was very effortless. Got it. Me. Yeah, we're Hot doing Buffalo. Hot Buffalo. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Oh, uh, Lord. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. They're, they're cowards. This isn't very hot at all. No, it's good. It's, it's a playful. It's a playful spice. A little bit of a bite to it. It, it. tickles my tongue. <laughs> it was a little coochie coo. I, I can, can feel like a tingling. <laughs> you asked yours first. It's got a strong nose. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm not, not eat any more of that. No, but then you well, asked two in a row. And it's I'll ask weird. the question and then I'll finish. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. And now it's in the back of my throat. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad. Mm-hmm. All right. The milk helps a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, at the risk of putting your future wife on blast, uh-huh. um, what is Maggie's goofiest or silliest kind of un, um, irrational, I guess, fear? Like, just goofiest kind of out there fear. Goofiest fear. That you're willing to share, <laughs> that you know of. Mm. I'm trying to think of ones that I know and are safe to disclose. <laughs> I know it's my fear. I don't know if it's her fear too. She watches lots of like forensic files and um, true crime shows about like people who get murdered Actual in gruesome ways. And stuff, yeah. And I think it's partly like um, a fear expression. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, paper, towel. paper towels. Yeah. I think it's partly that. Um, it terrifies me. I, I can tell you that it's like the reality of it, like the fact that it, like it, like it actually, could happen. It actually like does it's one thing to yeah. see like Leatherface rip some teens apart, and you're like, ha, goofy. like ha, ha, cool, <laughs> yeah, cool Hollywood. Ha, Texas funny. is real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's real. <laughs> um, but then you're like, you know, when they like this, this like, hey, her her arms are cut off, her tongue was cut out, she was fed her own tongue. Uh, we never found the murderers. If you have any information, I'm like, oh, cool, he's yeah. still out there. <laughs> he's still out there. Like, and that he, actually he... happened to a real person. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I guess to add to that, though, uh, Forensic Files and those kinds of shows have been a part of Max and I and my life since we were probably slightly too young to be watching them. Sweet. How are you next? 
What does your perfect vacation with Maggie look like? Oh God, we're trying to pick our um, honeymoon. Um, and say honeymoon, I said vacation. Well, I, that's, I think that would be I, I, the ideal yeah, vacation, right? <laughs> um, I'm a tropical bird, and uh, mm-hmm. she is a raven. So we're trying to find a sort of like, I want to go to the Bahamas on a cruise, and she would like to go to Iceland to like a witch museum. Or, or, or like to see um, like the Northern Lights, which I would love to. What about a cruise to Iceland. That's what we're thinking. The problem is that like they're really expensive. I was gonna say that sounds like expensive. Like cruise to Bahamas weekend, fifty bucks a person. Um, I like history stuff, so maybe like if we went to like like France, go to Paris, go to museums. We'd have to again though like get like a an apartment and like go to the Louvre every day for a month and see most of the museum. Gotcha. That's not a bad idea. Get like a short term rental and just. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just the dog. Ran out of storage. And the dog, and you know the money, and <laughs> yeah. We, we were asking about the perfect but vacation. Outside of all that, what is the perfect vacation? Like? <laughs> yeah, that's the thrust of the question. I, would say. I like being able to do some not stuff for a lot, and then you know, <coughs> done. And, <laughs> start yeah, having for a and then starting to, um, oh, yeah. and I do like nerdy stuff, like going to museums or going to like cultural sites. Like Tulum, my favorite place in the world. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Tulum. I love Tulum. <laughs> So, what is your least favorite chore? Um, I guess for both of you, it's if it's the same one, um, or if it's like you know you both. What's have that guy who pushes the boulder up the hill forever? Sisyphus. Sisyphus. Yeah. For us, that's dishes. Dishes, yes, absolutely. One hundred percent agree. The dishes yes. will pile up for days, and then we're yes. like, we have to tackle this <laughs> yeah. together, and then we do we're like, let's make dinner, and then they're. Yeah, the very next, yeah, the very they're next always thing. there. Yeah. The dishes. It is that. It's, it's a never-ending struggle. I think the Greeks invented dishes, and they made that story to talk about how they're always, <laughs> always dirty. The lost in translation. Is that the one? Because y'all also have so many like plants and pets and stuff like that. Well, we, all, we, we all would have figured it would have been that. like the, the guinea, like the guinea pig. Right, but we, for the, like I don't touch guinea pigs. I'm allergic to hay, so we divine conquer. I usually do the fish now. I do a care pan and a we did both take care of Bluey. Maggie takes care of the guinea pigs because I'm allergic to hay and the plants because I will forget. I can smell this one. Yeah, like when I put it yeah. up to. I don't like how it's kind of I, my eyes water a little bit. It looks tasty, but I'm afraid. Oh yeah. Mm, I like that smell. This mm. is, oh, that's not bad. Okay, it's actually pretty alright. Okay. That's like sweet. <laughs> well, it's got red peppers on the top though. Yeah. This is like a downer. Yeah. It's got pepper seeds. It's warm. Oh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any like, like just a chunk of the, the, like the pepper, the spicy stuff in there? It's definitely oh. a Trojan horse that goes for the lungs. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gonna fry too. I think I'm. Well, I'm almost tempted to have another bite. It's not good. No, we need suffering next. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a tasty one. It was. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. One question that is not quite on here, but I was hoping to ask you. Um, yeah. <laughs> as a person who enjoys time travel, I thought this would be an interesting one to ask you. Yeah. If you and Maggie had the ability to time travel without any repercussions, what historical figure would you like to visit, Snow? and what would you like to ask them? You should ask me places. It's a good you ask this is a time travel theme. What of a hundred years? <laughs> the person, though, is interesting. I think you would ask the place. I was going to say places... Okay, I what, what place and then what person? Well, I was going to say places. I would have rights anytime. Maggie would not. <laughs> um, people. Who would we want to meet? Who would I want to meet or who would we one, meet? If you could choose one person to meet and as you had to ask them one question, what would it be? God, there's so many like historic figures like I just know like don't meet your own heroes. Mm-hmm. But I've always what wanted to, to meet Gene again? Wilder who's no longer with us. It's probably Gene okay. Wilder. Wow, he was a huge inspiration to me. Um... A huge influence you, on me. Yeah, you showed me Young Frankenstein. And, and you just connected after, the dots. Yeah, and I loved it. And then you, every time I came over, you made me watch it every single time. Like, yeah, <laughs> I remember I had terrible. the contraption. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't touch the, my eyes. Yeah, from the clockwork, <laughs> clockwork orange. Yeah, you had me Absolutely. sat and strapped down. And I, I like, said, walk this way. <laughs> Got it. Got it. If I could walk that way. There, wolf. Their castle. See, I gave me going now. Okay, yeah. Um, I, that was Gene Walker. On my part. I mean, like, there's so many historical figures as, as a history buff, but I just know they're all probably really bad. That's why they're in the history books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Gene Walker's a sweetheart. Could meet, meet, meet somebody in the future. Hmm. That's true. Oh, um, yeah. Who would you visit in the future? Uh, you. <laughs> they're, like, really old. <laughs> when I'm bald and lost all my hair. Yeah. <laughs> no, the 
lighting reflecting off this dome. Yeah, you know? you're gonna put a. It's looked like J.J. Uh, Abrams directed this. Maybe, thing. maybe he'll have more hair. Maybe he'll invent a cure. I mean, they have one, but none that I want. Okay, next question, please. <laughs> Indeed. Right. Uh, yeah, I think that I think the next one. Uh, next one is mine. Okay. When you guys can't decide on, or like, if you overall just can't agree on what to have for dinner, um, what's like a fallback option that you both Ooh. will just you'll never Ooh. object to? It's always okay. It's always good. What's our price range? Is this like if you got to be cheap, we can go for whatever. Anything like something that you're like, uh, I can't think. You know, you can't think of what we want, or you can't agree on it. You're just like, ah, eh, we'll just we'll the just get. The chokehold that DoorDash has had on us is pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> extremely powerful. Preach. Um, <laughs> Typically, it's either Taco Bell when we're feeling sad and we want to hate our bodies. Um, it's like or that, Moe's. that Taco 12 pack that just is, it's always there. Um, it's either that or Moe's. Those two have never let us down. Some places we put on blacklist, like Outback is great, but like they have like messed up the order so many times on the blacklist. Mm -hmm. and we've really gotten into Chili's now. We go to Chili's oh. for dinner sometimes. We need to like treat ourselves, but uh -huh. like not spend too much money. And chilies is great. We love chilies. Amen. I always love the Southwest Eggles from chilies. Oh, can't get me started. <laughs> the black teas. Mm -hmm. um, this is a question that that I, I'm excited to ask you, but I couldn't figure out how to articulate it. So we might be going into going into fun territory here. Considering, <laughs> I'll fix it in post. Considering, yes, please. I'm also editing. <laughs> Thank you, future Brian. Thanks. Uh, okay, straight to the heart. So. <laughs> <laughs> are you really struggling that bad? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> are you? Your face is getting red. Though. I am getting. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, like, it's starting. Wait till we get to the fireworks. Yeah, we're, uh, like, we're barely halfway. I'm through. like Benedict Cumberbatch playing smog in the green screen. <laughs> What does your vision of the Shiel Imperato combined family look like? Oh god. Your imagination, maybe. I feel like there's a lot of um, similarities and parallels. Um, I've observed, and I love you both, that the Shields are the, the crazier like party family. They like to get zany. And they, they, they do cherish um, like get-togethers and what? family reunions. Crazier than the Rose? I, oh, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> and the O'Loughlin's are more stable, more calm, but also still like really cherish like that family connection and spending time with each other. And it makes me think a lot about the Rose and the Imperados. The Rose, my mom's side, were the partiers. They were the ones going out. They had they go to the yacht club, or we have to get together on a cruise for a family reunion. Yeah. And the Imperados are quiet, and they can definitely you know uh, have a good time. But it's more, it's it's less intense at times. I love you all. It sounds like it's. But a, I feel like they get along swimmingly. Yeah. They pair the right people together. It sounds like it's almost like a almost like a mirror image. There'll be a lot of uh, there'll be a lot of uh, familiarity almost yeah, off the gate. Absolutely. And it probably helps that uh, the Imperators and the Rose have uh, Irish heritage. Making sure yours is extra moist. Oh, I really appreciate yeah, that. You're welcome. Oh, why did you give me one with extra sauce? <laughs> they all got it. It's nice. You're welcome. Oh, I gave okay. his the best. Brian's the most sauce. Like by I, far. His I is, appreciate it. Thank is, you so much. His, his is so soaking. Wet. Thank you so it's much. Sopping wet. All right, now we're gonna take a bite out of these first, and then we're yeah. going to do a little game we like to play called Explain This Gram. I love you all. Oh, oh. It's not a little hate to it. Ah. Oh. That's so far. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, we picked the wrong place. This is Charles' play. This one beats ass. That's, That's what I said. We should start putting the hot. How? We got a different How are you none of you affected by this? You hot? Don't no, get me wrong, but it's not. No, I think you. <laughs> I think you never trust me. Mm. Oh, that's setting in now. Those, yeah. the, 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 the sauce is still sealed. What am I going to do? This one's the back of the throat. This one's the last. <coughs> the last one was on the lips. This one's right in the back of the throat. <coughs> this one's gonna. This one's a timer. Let's go another one. Yeah, this one's on the lips for me. This one's kind of. Okay, that was that. Nice. That's it's starting to settle down a little bit. Yeah, baby. Huh. <sighs> I don't know what's up. Mm. All right, so <laughs> would you mind explaining? Um, would you explain this gram for us? Yeah, I like Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> That's so fun, is it? <laughs> That's like you need some milk. Okay, um, that picture. <laughs> and I'll send it to the Discord so you can 
Oh, that helps. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> oh, this one snuck up on me. This one, I thought this was delicious and fine. Oh, oh. I scarfed down the entire thing. <laughs> oh, my lips. Okay. And then a, a minute later. Okay, I got so it. that picture. Uh, Maybe I'm just desensitized. From I don't know how many people know it's my favorite. But I, <laughs> when I convert it to worshiping like Odin and Thor and other Marvel movies. <laughs> <laughs> that was from some of my therapeutic hikes. Galaxy. Oh, it's on the show. <laughs> That's from some of my hikes. Oh. <laughs> Why was it early release for me and late release for you? Look at the questions. This is the time to ask them. This is all the. This is the movie magic. Go, go, go. So, go, 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 go anyway, like, you, you were I'm doing therapeutic that. hikes. That, yeah, so it sort of became the sort of. Guys, 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 guys. It, it became the popping circumstance <clears> of, like, doing, like, makeup, like, Alice Cooper, and putting on this, like, Renaissance garb and going out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> And meditating, talking hurts. We gotta get it. We gotta it's make it another one. We gotta have him make up eat another one of these. these All right, are... this is the first time. Oh no! <laughs> no, come on! It's all right. That's not gonna help you right now. That's not gonna help you right now. Yeah, that's for. Are you? Are you I need to coat my mouth. I'm gonna are swish you boiling? this. Boiling? They're simply just like swish. You need to take this off. Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> try the. Um, <laughs> try there the you go. Hazel. Take everything. <laughs> try the hazelnut <laughs> creamer. Please, you work on that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you pouring it in the milk? <laughs> okay, now you're making junk. God gives his toughest battles. <laughs> I think you curl the milk instantly. I didn't know there was milk in there. I thought it was just the cup. <laughs> I don't hate it. I do need this though. <laughs> All right. Uh, explain this. <laughs> I think the prompt was we were doing DreamWorks spaces. <laughs> I'm <a> Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> yeah, that's my DreamWorks space. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> you have a um, DreamWorks space. Sorry. Thank you. Is there gonna be anybody at the wedding that you uh, you haven't seen in a while, or excited to excited to be there? Oh yeah, uh, Will. If we get you in this video, I'd love to see you again. Uh, I'm back my, child, my childhood friend. Oh, it's coming back. <coughs> um, it's the two prong attack. <laughs> really like so much family. Part of the reason why we didn't just like elope. Part of the reason? Part of the reason why? Yeah, drag my, his ass. My yeah, mouth. get him. This <laughs> is cursed again. Oh no. My this mouth is wet. Not work. My mouth is doesn't help. No, no. Does it help the lips at all? Uh, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to be a Buddhist about this. I'm just like accept. Yes, let it in. Accept um, become part of me. <laughs> yeah, part of the reason why we didn't just like elope at a waterfall is because we haven't seen so many people since COVID nineteen started. <laughs> but we haven't seen each other so long. And like I mentioned, my son, the family. Um, family unions are really important. So I, part of like this venue was like, oh my gosh, we also get to like stay there the weekend and we get to hang out. It's not just you come, you wine, you dine, you, you take pictures and you go home. We actually get to hang out for the whole weekend. So I'm really happy to see all my family. See some friends from high school to make it. Um, I'm glad you guys are going to be there, especially. Mm -hmm. It's really important. I, I, told, I told both of you independently, but I'm really excited to meet the families. I've heard nothing but I've heard nothing but lovely stuff. I've seen lots of the pictures of Amaretta and Millie. And, That's great. <laughs> and I hope uh, Max over there just double. Don't be fuddy duddies. You guys need to mingle with each other. Meet the other family. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. The I'm whole excited. point of doing this is so you guys get to make new friends, new family. Not just Maggie and I get to be happy. It's all of us. Would you like some pink stuff? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually good. I want more hot stuff. That's for later. Yeah, I want we got a couple. We got a, I, I might do another wing. Actually, we got a couple of questions. So to, we have a couple. You questions. do you. Uh, <laughs> who's who's up next with questions? Um, I think I think Max is next, and I really I, got, I really I've like got, this next one. I've got one. I'll have one for the. Yeah, this next one is a funny one, but I'm gonna. It's not one. Yeah, the one I use first. Get let it breathe. <clears throat> That's what that. activated that a Pepto Abysmal. Yeah. Burning the back of my throat. Yeah, this, this is, is definitely this is like it's not really... Pepto Abysmal unless it's from the Bismuth region of France. All right. <laughs> Are you good? You just got out. <laughs> that was a time release joke. <laughs> I don't get it. Is that a Wayne's World reference? <laughs> That's for Maggie. I love you, babe.
All right, so you get a call, uh, unexpected call from Maggie at like weird hours, like weird hours of the day or night, you know, whenever she's like not working. Uh -huh. You're not expecting a call from her. Um, she said they need to come pick her up from the local police station and that she, quote, made an oopsie poopsie, unquote. Uh, what's that's Maggie. First, what's that's the first Maggie. thing oh, Maggie. that's going to run through your head that made, like, you you would have imagined might have ended, you know? Put Why it. isn't Maggie in bed? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would actually be wondering, I would assume it was Putt-Putt, the Green Mini Cooper who couldn't. <laughs> that thing, um, when I had the bar at one time, because my car was in the shop, um, I stopped at a red light and the AC was on and it turned off. <laughs> so I think that would happen, where the car would just decide... I'm on my union break. To, to quit in the middle of the road. <laughs> and go off of like a interstate or something like that. Oh man, I just got that putt putt. It was from the game we used to play when we were kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> putt putt the green mini Cooper. Um, you will put your enemies misery soon, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I feel it. I think that was... I feel it moving down to the bow. <laughs> that, might all, that, that might have also been Mac. It was Mac, yeah. Like, was that the next one? I just felt it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I just I felt a continental shift. Oh. <laughs> A timed episode. Continue your questions. Yes, this is a timed... A timed yeah, there is a I'm finite sorry. limit on this episode. All right, so you guys receive a uh, $50,000 inheritance from the estate of one of your, like, deceased relatives, of which you, like, don't really know, don't really remember, you had no idea you were even on the will on. Uh, what are you guys going to do with it? And I'm specifically asking, like, $50,000 is a much more, like, reasonable, down-to-earth amount as opposed to like, oh, what would you do with, you know, if you won the lottery for $20 billion. Yeah, you could do tomorrow. anything. Yeah, like, what's like something, you know, $50,000 is like a reasonable amount that's going to make it, you think. It's a kind of human amount of money. Yeah, exactly. I think I would use a lot of that for a down payment to build a house. We, oh, wow, I okay. really wanted to make a more modern house that's, um, I like sort of these like Hobbit homes like built in the hillside, but not mm. like Bilbo Baggins, more like, um, uh, oh, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah, like a Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, right. I, I would like to have a home that I can grow into a family. Right now, the office would be a kid's room. Um, we need to fix up the house, um, but it is definitely a house we're, we're, we're able to live in for now and manage. You wouldn't replace the, uh, <coughs> the car that you, I mean, talking, from, that you were just talking about? Is... The car runs. <coughs> oh, fair enough. But right. I think the bigger thing is like 50000 <laughs> Like that's a lot for a down payment to then have a cheaper mortgage. Mm -hmm. And then be able to afford yep. more and, and have a nicer place. Right. And uh, not have to worry about money so much. And probably also support Maggie, like, uh, doing art for a living. What it takes a while to have that initial, like, uh, capital to get going on that and then support yeah. yourself doing art. Off the top of your head, what do you think Maggie would want to spend it on without having... If she, if she didn't consult you and just off the top of her head? I think the art thing would be one. and I, But I think if it's, like, the emer like the initial, like, what's the splurge <laughs> thing I buy, like a new car, it'd probably be tattoos. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of tattoos saved uh, in mind. Um, I think one after this wedding. Um, yeah, I, I think it'd be a tattoo. That's right. So. You're gonna want to. You're definitely gonna want to do like not that much. You just you need to sort of convince it out from what I've seen anyway. And this is honestly a little bit too much. Just something like that. Ooh. Oh, that's too much. That is uh -oh. a lot, that is on that is on the large side of what you want from what I've uh -oh. seen. Oh, I'm gonna go all in. I'm I'm ready to, to suffer. <laughs> right there. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Serving size. That is all that I'm doing. With this last <laughs> that. That. Uh, no, I think that I'm done. But you know what? I think you'll still feel it. Go a teaspoon. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Go with uh, yeah, that's that is it. mine. Oh. Let's do this thing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> By the powers of naughtiness, I command this particular drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. Oh no! Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> oh. All right, Brian. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get, get, do get, not get, get, video, get video here. Do not spank. Ooh, that creamer's nice. That helped immediately. It's from the aftershock. <laughs> you need to sort of give it a you one, like, you give it like one strong it. spank. Like vibrate it. Oh, there, there you go. Almost perfect. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know what? Give me a little bit. I'm not gonna check it out. Now, the last part of this had me going back, and I just got like a shot of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you cut that out, please? <laughs>
Okay. All right. This oh, is no. the last stab. This is the end. <laughs> this, this is the one. Is one. This is the this, end, my friend. This is gonna be a bit of a reaction, I think. Let's do it. All right. Oh, Lord. To open it up. Three, two, one. Do it. That wouldn't help me. Mm. Got to eat it quickly. Oh. Mm. Oh wow! Oh, wait till you swallow it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where it gets you. <laughs> it has a good profile. Huh? I can't tell. It's, it's actually like oh Jesus! <laughs> it's actually pretty. Ah, ah okay. Ah. <laughs> Here. Here, here. It's like stuck in my teeth. <laughs> okay, explain this ground, please. <laughs> That's a great pick. That's my favorite one. Oh. <sighs> it's like I hate all of you. I hate all of you. Oh, this is fantastic. You drink and it's fine. Mm. <laughs> and as soon as you speak, it hurts again. <laughs> that picture is from what? Don't breathe heavily. No, I like the pain. That picture is from our second date in Boone. It's like ants are biting my tongue. Yeah. It's like. Give me some of that. Tell us about that date when you can, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we would take turns going from Asheville to Boonish weekend. Oh, I like it. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my second date was close to the Boon. We took the bus to King Street. It's like a lick the suicide plant in Australia. <laughs> you okay? You're crying. <laughs> Don't be crying. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, this is what you wanted, right? I need ice. I need ice. <laughs> oh, the ice. Where's the ice? Uh, is the ice gonna make it worse? Uh, hurry! Hurry, man! Is this what fantastic. you wanted? Uh, ice. <laughs> Give me that. I feel like that's gonna make it worse. Give me one. Oh, that's a little better. That actually helps it. Yes, yeah. the lips. It does? Okay. Stop calling. I, I, it seemed like it would make it worse. Uh. 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 <laughs> the noises. I hate every single one of you mm -hmm. very much. We have such sights mm -hmm. to show you. Okay. So that's uh, our second date. Uh, so that's our please. That's our second date in Boone. And we were on King Street. And because it's Boone, it was snowing all the damn time. And it started sleeting. I thought that was your tooth for a second. I was so afraid. <laughs> it's so hard it melted my tooth. Mm. We went King ah. Street to try that. That's good. Ah. Whoa. And it starts to sleep. Ah. So, no, I won't go. <laughs> no, trust me. Okay, all right. Just hit Gibby. Oh, I'm jumping on that right afterwards. <laughs> I got ice on that horn. We went King Street. First went to a bookstore. There's an adorable Where's black ice? cat. Ice. Ice. An adorable black cat. And, that, and then we went to um some wooey woo hippie store that sell uh, like Bigfoot weed flies and things like that. Ah, uh, Missy Boone. And we I picked mean. out and bought those three odd sunglasses, mm -hmm. the Demon sunglasses. We thought those were really fun. And I wore those in another profile picture. So, so kind of, my so, students find so all the time really of me at the Moth Fan Festival. I don't want to eat that. That's bad. If you suck on the ice, oh god. Yeah, I'm not eating anymore. Yeah. Though. Absolutely not. Suck on it. I did. Keep it in your mouth. I'm good. I'm good. It's. Uh, it, Jack Black was right, only time helps. I'm becoming one with it. Oh, this is my life now. <laughs> I don't know what's pain. I'm here okay. for I can turn this into crazy. Tyler, what was your last question? Who would win in a dance off and why? <laughs> Perfect. Me, timing. because I'm shameless. Maggie's too afraid to dance in front of the people. Sorry, babe, we gotta dance in front of everyone on our first dance. <laughs> it's gotta happen. Better yet, have a dance off in front of everybody. We've trained for this. We did this, you can dance. <laughs> but I, I danced all the time as a kid. And Kathy, you're at the wedding, you can tell people I danced at your wedding. You were Fortnite dancing before Fortnite was the thing. That's true. It's they crazy. actually saw it. I lost that lawsuit. I know. <laughs> they just have more money than you did. Me and Carlton from Fresh Prince. They did it. You, you get them to change the name from Brian Knight, though. 
it. Suck on it. It helps suck on it. Uh, Put I got, it in your mouth and suck on it. I have sort of a conclusive fight. I have sort of like a conclusive cinematic final question. So if anybody else wants to put anything else in, I got one. Uh, so, okay. Uh, Lightning round. <laughs> does, does Maggie have any like niche or like mm-hmm. hidden secret talents that like few people know about or like only? Then it won't be a secret, Matt. Maggie is a very talented individual. Like any talents that only like you know about, know about because you live with her. <laughs> only, they don't, I know about. I'm not positive. Because Maggie does have friends like Hikari and Carmen. Uh, and she tells things too. But she's very creative. She'll often see something at like a craft fair and say, "I can make that." And sometimes she does, and it's usually better. I want to grab mine. I don't want your hand on. For example, the guest book at the wedding that you signed. Maggie made that. Maggie made the invitations for the wedding. Put it in the, the Art Deco border. <laughs> And the decorate the border that's around the table members. And they're so beautiful. You can look at them tomorrow. You're and probably, they're probably right in front of you. Right border, right this right. one's my personal favorite. The crown that Maggie will be wearing at the wedding. She made herself by hand. It is pearls and um, a silver halo. They the, the pearls with their branches and leaves on a tree. It is gorgeous. She made it herself. She's extremely talented and I love her. Ah. And she deserves credit for making that crown. It seems like the uh, it seems like the wedding is really bringing out the best in a lot of her creative talents. It's I think for both of us. That's yeah. fantastic. Uh, I mean, we DIY a lot of stuff, and it, it made us more uh, rounded individuals. Uh, all right. I think this would work pretty well as a as a final question. Something I let's do it. We we made it this far. Hey, a, you know what? Hey, look at us. We made it. Look at us. Look at us. We had a new we all had a new experience together. Look at thought. I never thought I'd make it. Very painful to be you and me. Uh, I have shivers on my sunburns from the beach. Go ahead. <laughs> Look at yourself, man. This is a bit general, a bit specific. You are about to have a ceremony and a ritual that's purpose is to mark a massive, lifelong change. I can in- see the snuff coming out of your nose. That's fantastic. Thank you for telling me about that. <laughs> we- you and Maggie are both making a conscious decision, and you are making... You're having a day to celebrate the fact that you are both going into a new, different phase of both of your lives, and you're forming a new life together. And, uh, the sorry, I just got distracted. Oh, you can cut, though. We can, we can probably cut to... No, you can. Let's go for it. This, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. this is real. This is raw. It's raw. I mean, I'm, my, my mouth is still on fire. I think I've just become insensitive. I can't feel the Batman cowl. Like, all the skin yeah, yeah. of Batman is gone. Dude, you asked about the mustaches earlier. I'm probably going to feel like aftershocks of this for oh, the next Oh, it has to year. transmit through, yeah. through the, the hair nerve endings. Okay, <laughs> so you were asking, like... Yes, uh, what this does new the, chapter... What does, the, what does this new chapter look like right now, uh, first um, of all, in your eyes, for you and Maggie? Our goal is to fix up the house that we have bought. We bought this house right when the housing crisis got crazy when COVID first started um, inflating the housing price. We got it right at that, uh, before that get-go got crazy. Um, it's a fixer upper. We need to paint the whole outside. We want to touch up some of the inside, uh, uh, fix some stuff in the attic to make it work better and be more efficient. Maybe we got solar panels if we splurge, get a fence for Bluey. So it's mostly focused on upgrading the house, make it a nest, because um, I'll have lots of questions there. I don't know, lots of people ask you about kids. Kids? Kids? <laughs> we don't know. It's not soon. <laughs> but not far. Okay, there are two options of time, soon and distant. Oh, we're going to split the difference. <laughs> we're gonna, it's going to be soon soon. I took, I got uh, those Tums to eat before we did this as a prep. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that from my wife. Shout out, you I'm saved me. Myself. You <laughs> shaved me. You saved me. You shaped me. <laughs> from a fate that these others will... I, I appreciate the pain. I'm just I'm just having like a Hellraiser. Oh no, I'm not talking about the pain right now. I'm talking oh, about the pain. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. feeling it. Actually, this has one You didn't around. give any tones to us. No, I thought it would be funnier if I just took <laughs> it. You guys didn't. <laughs> Okay, it's out of battery. Let me stop there. Let me get switch the battery. I'm gonna okay, okay. I'm gonna my pants. That was the last question, so you got time to think about it. Uh, oh, that was my last question anyway. Don't laugh. I'll just make him take longer. At least if he passes out, he's not trapped in there. Oh my goodness.
Okay, any last, last minute questions you guys want to ask? Uh, uh, I would ask about the superpower. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the sort of follow up to the second one was uh, any more milk? the last one I had. We don't need to, it doesn't need to be the last question, but I was thinking. Does anyone want one more milk? Nice and fun, I can get it started. Uh, is that recording? I just hit my fingers. What? <laughs> 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 Will the French fries help me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, want, I want to know. Uh, I have more of that. Um, uh, so, crazy, crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this, man. This is great. <laughs> I'm excited to take that hot sauce home with me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, Ryan, you'll have it next time Maggie's over. Maggie you can take the last dab. You can take it if you like. We love hot ones. Uh, shout out to hot, uh, hot ones. I'm sorry that, we cramped your style here. We can uh, take. We, we did can, it with love. Okay, that can be your wedding present as an open bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> it's a great show. If you did enjoy watching this and you like to see celebrities go through the same torture, please look up Hot Ones on YouTube. Uh, there's tons of celebrities. It's really great. It's interviewing them about their lives with really deep cutting questions. Sean Evans. Oh God, you heard that right? Is he puking? Mac, is that coming out, up, or down? That's coming out. <laughs> so check on here. Yeah, check on. If you want to see celebrities with the boy. same torture with really deep cutting questions. No, I'm afraid I might puke. <laughs> Sean Evans does a great do job interviewing that oh, show. Okay. It's really great okay. seeing celebrities being if it's... just people like us. <laughs> 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 That's a wrap.